Hey everybody, it's Lana from Hickory Ridge Studio, just checking in with you. I tried to do this video Friday, I had some issues with it, so I thought I would just redo it. That seemed like the easiest thing to do. Um, I got a couple of things I'm going to talk about, not a whole lot, but just something quick for a Monday. I thought a video would be easy. Um, uh, real, real quick, start out with, I don't think I've done a video since Amos was sick. And, can't remember if I've really addressed it in the blog, but I'll address it now. Um, the last thing I talked about in one of my videos, I think, was Amos and how we were having trouble with his back and he couldn't walk and he was on house arrest. He was under uh, kennel quarantine and all of that. But he is tons, tons better. He's probably 99.9% .9 better. He's as good as he's going to get. Um, he'll always be a little back patient, but he's back running and jumping and playing and being his old Amos dog self. So that's awesome. We're really excited. Um, I went from having a dog that couldn't walk to a dog that is uh, back being his old self. And that's exciting. So thank you to all of you that uh, asked about him, that checked in with me. And, and um, I appreciate it. It was touch and go there for a while. I thought I was going to uh, have to make some tough decisions. But he is lots, lots better. So knock that out of the way. Uh, the second thing I wanted to say was thank you for all of the views and the comments and the messages that I got on the Manti series. Um, Manti will always, always have a little special place in my heart there. So much of my childhood was spent in Manti. I had uh, great grandparents that lived out in the county from Manti. Um, and then just all the time that I spent there growing up, it will always be special to me. And uh, I thought the pictures came out okay, and I hope um, that my writing kind of put that across that um, how special it is to me. So thank you. It was, uh, I looked around the other Monday night and realized how many pictures I had edited, um, the entries that I had kind of written out longhand, um, and realized I could probably make a week long series out of it, and that's what I decided to do. So uh, thank you. Um, I had, had good response from it, so always a good thing. Always happy um, when other people like the work. So um, The second thing I wanted to talk about was uh, I've got two new books. Um, one of them is a loaner, and one of them I actually bought off of eBay from an antique book dealer. And the one I bought from the book dealer off of eBay is um, a, a book called Historical Notes of Notchby County by a Mr. John A. Tyson. It was published in 1928. He had written some newspaper articles for the Macon Beacon, which is our local newspaper, and it's still in existence. He wrote them from 26 to 27, and in 28 they collected them together into this volume. And um, it's a great little book. Uh, it, it's no pictures, no illustrations, just text. But it's got a lot of good information and uh, some information I haven't seen before in places, so I'm excited about that. I hadn't gotten very far in it yet, but uh, what I have read is really good, so I'm happy about that. The other one that I have that is a loner is a book that I got before from the Columbus Library, which was um, the Notchby County Historical Trail that was put out by the Notchby County Historical Society, and uh, it's a great book. Lots of pictures, good text, might not be 100% accurate, but nothing in history ever is. But I think with the two of those, I'll be able to put together some good posts on Noshby County. So, kind of be looking for those. Um, and and that's about it. There's not a lot going on. Uh, last week was just really super stressful for me. I had a long week at work, and I was uh, taken off last Friday to go spend a little time with my husband, just the two of us. You know, just take a day, drive up to North Alabama, just have a little adult time. You need that from time to time when you're married. You know, kind of call it a date. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I, I hustled and hustled Monday through Thursday and got my stuff done, but still kind of, you know, was a little stressed and a little frazzled when I left Thursday. So just last week was long. It was one of those long weeks at work where you look up and it's only like Tuesday and you feel like it ought to be Thursday. So I'm hoping this week will be a lot better. And um, yeah, just looking forward to a good week. It's Monday. We're going to start off on a good foot. 
and uh, that's that's about it. That's about all I have. I always want to say thank you. Y'all are the best readers in the world. You put up with me. You read my little silly stories, and you look at my little silly pictures, and and I appreciate that. You know, even if you don't comment, I still see the views. I do have analytics on my blog. I can see how many times the pages are viewed. So, you know, if you're, you know, surfing around, you look at my page, and you take a little time and you read it. Look, I appreciate it. You know, I'm, I I do this because it's fun. I do this because I like to share um, Mississippi history. I like to share the things that I think are interesting, and and a lot of what I talk about I think is overlooked because it's not important. But it's still interesting, even if it's not some earth-shattering historical event. It's still interesting. And sometimes that connection to the everyday, to the everyday person, that's what I find interesting. And I hope you do too. So, thanks for reading. Thanks for being the best blog readers in the world. And like I said, for putting up with me. I hope you have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.